Okay guys, I just wanna make this real quick video. I'm just gonna get straight into the point. A lot of guys are having failures on these 8HP 70s, 8HP 90s. I've never seen or heard anything like this, but I had a catastrophic failure on my 8HP 90. We're not exactly sure what the cause was, but on the failed 8HP 90 that I had, the output flange nut was somewhat questionable. It was loose, I'll show you guys that here. So this flange that comes out of the transmission, it's torqued and has a little indent so that this doesn't come loose from the factory, but look at this. So this is actually has that play. So I don't know if potentially they didn't torque this from the factory enough and that little bit of play amplified is what grenaded this thing. So as you can see, that output flange was extremely loose. So we were wondering whether it had anything to do uh, with the failure or whether it occurred you know, in all the destruction. But I did get another 8HP90 and I was just putting it in and I'll show you guys that footage. So I don't know if you guys can see this, but the nut isn't fully seated on here. So I can turn the flange underneath the nut, which means that that nut doesn't have full torque on it. So it doesn't have no 44 foot pounds, otherwise it would be up against the face of this and it wouldn't be getting this tiny bit of slop. So I don't know if you guys can see that, but the flange is turning but the nut is not. So that means that this needs to be tightened down. So I'm gonna take this stake out of here and I'm gonna to try to put a little bit more torque on this down to spec, 44 foot pounds. But this one had play in it. I could sit here and physically take the output flange and I could move it um, and you could see the nut. I could even rock it um, clockwise and counterclockwise and you could see it rotating underneath the nut. This nut is supposed to be torqued down to 44 foot pounds from the factory. And I don't know what's going on, but they're supposed to be also staked right here and it's supposed to hold it in place. As you can see, I just relieved that stake there and I managed to turn it. Um, I'm not sure rotationally how much that would be, but you can see I moved it over by uh, just over an eighth of an inch, maybe almost about an eighth of an inch more of a turn I got out of it. And that completely snugged this thing up so I don't have any play in this. So I've now had two that have that. I've seen tons of failures uh, people having failures with uh, the output shaft, you know, having some sort of vibration and breaks the tail shaft uh, of the transmission. So I just want to show you guys that again, 44 foot pounds is uh, what I believe it's specced out at when I looked it up in the manual, but it looks like they're not torquing them enough from the factory. So definitely want to check that. It's a very costly repair if it ends up uh, vibrating or you get some sort of vibration and then it ends up, you know, destroying your transmission like mine did. But Check yours, you guys. Like I said, it doesn't hurt to check. You don't even really have to disassemble it. If you go up to it with your drive shaft connected and you push up and down and you feel play in there, yours is gonna be loose. So comment down below. Um, I'd love to hear you guys' feedback. Go check yours now and comment down below if you guys have the same thing because this is huge, you guys. Like I said, two out of two. And even my friend's brand new transmission had a little bit of play. Um, and his was a zero mile transmission and it still had a little bit of that slop in there. So. Go check yours, comment down below if yours is the same. Hopefully it saves you guys. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Check out the other videos on the channel. You can see mine blowing up on this truck. And we'll see you guys on the next video.